Hello and welcome to this review of Liberty Creek Merlot. I already did the Liberty Creek Founders Red Blend 12.5 I believe, yeah, 12.5% alcohol. As you can see it's mostly gone. It's been a great wine. This is the uh, Merlot. Liberty Creek started in 2002 sort of to exploit or uh, I guess you could say uh, honor the events of September 2011. Uh, uh, you know, take advantage of the situation at hand, right? Oh, well, whatever. Um, $6.92 for the liter, 1.5 liter bottles at Walmart. There's a bunch of talk here. Every bottle rings faithful to the principle we hold true. Uh, okay, now here's the tasting notes. What's the ABV? 12. Okay, so from 12.5 to 12. Uh, ripe picked raspberry and cherry with a velvety smooth finish. Pairs perfectly with almost any dish, such as hearty pastas, pork tenderloin, and roasted chicken. S sounds good. Modesto, California. Yeah, I know that sounds familiar. This is an E&J Gallo brand. I did other E&J Gallo lines like uh, Carlo Rossi, Livingston Cellars, and um, oh, what else? Uh, Gallo Family. So uh, I'm trying to get through all of those. There's so many. It'll take years, a lifetime, really. So we'll see what we think about it. Uh, Jean-Pierre, Jean-H-Pierre, the beverage ramble, was talking to me about doing an examination, a joint review, so we might do that. Deep red, even with a purple tint to it. Looks nice, yes, yeah, red from the light outside. <clears throat> Try not to remember the taste in this. I want to give it an independent evaluation from what I'm picking up. Sort of a tannic, woody, grape skin note, which would appeal to some people and other people wouldn't just wouldn't be able to stand it. It's fine for me, you know. I, I enjoy Merlot. <clears throat> and it's on the dry side tannins, grape skin, little little bit of a velvety note. It's got a little hearty body to it. Not a heavy body product, just a little, like I said, a little hearty body to it. Dry finish, easy going. I think it would pair well with those hearty meals. And um, if there are negatives, with this, I'd like to know what they are. I was at somebody's house down the street one day and she was having a dinner and she had one of the Lib Liberty Creek white wines. I don't remember which one. And she was like, well, I got this wine. It's kind of cheap, but like she was apologizing. She's giving a free dinner. She's apologizing. I said, I'm sure it's going to be fine. And uh, we, everyone drank it with their dinner and it was fine. And everybody enjoyed it. I certainly did. So I think E&J Gallo does do a great job with the value priced, like they're saying, everybody should be able to afford a good wine, and uh, I agree with that, and I take no issue with this. Grapes, red grapes. I would highly recommend it, and I would score it a 94 out of 100. It's a most excellent product. So if you get, if you see it, and chances are you will easily be able to find this just like Gallo Family, Carlo Rossi, Livingston Sellers, they're all available across the United States of America. Don't hesitate to buy it. I would the intention I have is to try all of the lineup. And it, like I said, it'll take years. But that'll be fine. So Laissez les, les Bon Ton Relay, a wonderful product. And I'm from a family-owned company, I might add, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.